my hair is so greasy. Ooh, ooh, hey, hey, let's have a sip of my Coke today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, as you may be able to tell from the title, I don't know, my June TBR. And I have decided that this month I'm going to do rereading a lot because I haven't done that in a really long time so I thought it was about time. But before I'm going to do any rereading I'm going to finish reading A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. This is about four people, Ma Martin, Maureen, JJ and Jess. Oh. I only just noticed Eminem and J and J. Huh, interesting. Anyway, um, yes, so Martin Maureen, JJ and Jess meet at New Year's Eve um, at the roof of a building when they're sort of waiting for one another to jump off to kill themselves because they want to kill themselves too. So basically, they're all very suicidal and then at some point during the evening they decide to make a pact and not to kill themselves until Valentine's Day and yeah I'm a third of the way through so far I really like it. I've seen the film already which I'm sort of half regretting having seen it before reading the book um, but it's still a very good read and the characters' voices are very distinctive and different because you read from all four people's perspectives. I think that's really nice because um, it allows you to really get to know each and every one of the characters and the reasons behind why they're doing things. Um, so yes, I'm really enjoying this. And then for rereading, I have got five books, each of which I have never read before in English. So. In a way it's rereading, but in a way it's also not, because um, I know the stories, but I don't know the words in which they are told in these books. So first of all, The Wide Window, which is the third book in the series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. And yes, this should see me through fairly quickly. Um, don't have a lot to say about that. And then I have City of Stars by Mary Hoffman, which is the sequel to City of Masks, which I read in April, I think. Um, yeah, I got this from a charity shop a while back and I haven't read it in English yet. So I thought I might do that this month, because why the hell not? And also I want to reread The Doom Spell by Cliff McNish. I haven't actually before read um, this book as a single book because I've always read it as a trilogy because that's it's part of a trilogy just the first book um, but the one that I have at home is in Dutch and it's a bind up of all three books so I would have just marathoned them as they say but I don't only have this one here so I'll only read this one and it's about magic and witches and w wizards do they call them wizards? I don't think the wizards are in this yet. And two siblings who have found themselves amidst all of that. And I love this book. So I'm looking forward to rereading it. And then I want to read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Earlier this month I had to do an assignment for university which was linked to JK Rowling. Because I chose to do that. And then I sort of um, went on a search for quotes on Goodreads and I ended up with on the page with quotes from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and they were so amazing and some of them were absolutely hilarious and I was like oh my god I didn't even remember these books to be so funny <laughs> so I've decided to reread Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone earlier this year I want to say or late last year so it's about time that I give the second one a reread and then lastly I want to read The Letter for the King by Tonke Dracht this is originally a Dutch book and I have read it many a time in Dutch and 
I'm very curious to see how they translated it and I really want to read it again and also because like the story that I'm writing in a way is about a journey like a longer journey and this book is too I sort of want to see the way in which uh, the author has crafted that journey and see what works and what doesn't also this story is about Tiuri who is about to be knighted he's he's like on the eve of his knighting and he's sat in a chapel with the other uh, guys who are to be knighted and they're not allowed to speak they're not allowed to sleep they just need to watch their candles in silence and not talk to each other, not do anything. But then someone knocks at the door and it sounds urgent and Tiuri can't help himself and opens the door. And that's when the story sets off. Da -da -da -da. But yes, great book, can't wait to reread it. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Those are the books that I definitely plan on reading. I might also read If You Could See Me Now by Cecilia Ahern or a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas but I don't want to put them on my TBR because who knows I don't know how much time I'll have because I actually plan, plan on doing a lot of writing this month so that I don't know how much time I'll have for reading but I'll definitely definitely try to get through all of these and I'll let you know at the end of the month what I thought thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon